In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a FireMonkey application and add actions and gestures to it. We use the FireFlow example for FireMonkey that ships with Rad Studio XE3. This application allows you to take a set of pictures and display them and manipulate them using FireMonkey. So here's the version that just uses the mouse without gestures. And notice that it's displaying pictures in this cover flow model. And we can manipulate and move through the pictures using the trackbar. And we can use the mouse to select specific pictures uh, from the list of images. And that's the example that's built with FireMonkey. It actually showed up in XE2. And now what we're going to do is add actions and gestures to it. Let's add an action list and we'll add a gesture manager. The first action we're going to add, we're going to call that action first action. And we're going to use that first action to move us to the first image in the list. We'll add a last action, and we're going to use that action to go to the last image in the list. And we'll add an action for uh, the left gesture that'll move us one image to the left. And we'll finally add an action to move to the right in our image list. And for each of these actions, we'll have an on execute event handler. For the first action, we want to just set the trackbar value uh, to zero. And this takes advantage of an event handler that already is defined inside of the Fireflow application. Setting the trackbar value or changing it will call this event handler trackbar change, which will set the cover index equal to whatever the value of the trackbar is. And set cover index will simply go through the list of pictures and do the animations to move to the next picture or the previous picture or the first or the last picture. And for the last action, set the trackbar value equal to cover flow children count this one. Cover flow is a layout 3D which contains children, which are the images in the flow. And on the last action, we'll set the trackbar value equal to the number of children inside of the cover flow. Since it's zero based, we'll say cover flow children count minus one. The left action will test to see if the trackbar value is greater than zero. And if it is greater than zero, then we can decrement trackbar value. That way we don't go past the first image in the cover flow. And for the right action, which we want to move to the next image in the list, we'll simply make sure that the that the trackbar value is less than the cover flow dot children count minus one. And if we're not at the end of the image list, then we can increment the trackbar value. So we've set up our actions. Next, we need to go and associate the gestures with those actions. So we have the gesture manager, all of the images of the cover flow are stored inside of a viewport 3D inside of our FireMonkey HD application. So we'll scroll down and set the touch property and set its gesture manager. Then we'll look at the standard gestures. They'll say for the left gesture, we want to take that left action. For the right gesture, right action. And we'll scroll down and say chevron left. We'll make that go to the first and chevron right go to the last. Now we can run our application, pick the picture folder, and again the mouse still works and moving the track bar still works. We can also use gestures now. So I'm moving the mouse by holding the left mouse button and moving to the right, moving to the left. We'll do a chevron right, moves to the last image, chevron left moves to the first. So that's how easy it is to add gestures and actions to an existing FireMonkey application in XE3 using both Delphi and C++ Builder and FireMonkey 2. Four event handlers that hook into already existing code, taking advantage of the fact that I've got my trackbar change event handler, which then sets the cover index appropriately. 